And I'm going to release this prophetic word into your atmosphere. And this is going to be a prophetic word that is going to be for the children of God. And I'm going to release a word for the world. And you will see the manifestation of what I am saying in 2015, in 2016. Uh, as I release it, you will see these things happen. The Lord said, and I've already said this, he said, this is a year of abundance, promotion, elevation, new doors, new territory, divine connections. He said, relationships, husbands will find wives. I've said this before. There will be a quick work. We will see marriages in this year like never before. Um, God says springtime is a blessed time. I've said that. He said, things will begin to blossom. He said, there will be manifest. He said, there are so many manifestations at hand. He said, be ye ready, be ye prepared and continue to position yourself so that you can receive all that I have for you said the Lord I, I see that there is restoration at hand God said I'm about to do some debt ca cancellation watch this miracle signs and wonders you are about to see debt cancellation like never before healing is in the land God said the hands of Jehovah Rapha are being released upon those that are in need of a healing the hands of Jehovah Rapha will touch you in this season said the Lord deliverance is at hand Deliverance is coming to homes for marriages, for husbands, for wives. Deliverance is in the house for even the children. The prodigal sons will come back to the father in this season, said the Lord. The prodigal daughters will come back to the father in this season, said the Lord. He said, don't you worry about the little picture that's staring you in your face. He said, because there is a bigger picture on the horizon and those that can see it will see it. You have to see that thing before you see it because that's when you will see it said the Lord he said breakthrough is at hand he said continue to stay focused my sons and my daughters he said guard your hearts because connections are about to be dropped but at the same time connections are about to be established God said I got to get rid of the old so I can bring in the new oh come on somebody y'all better catch this he said I've got to get rid of the old so I can bring in the new I don't care if it's family I don't care if it's friends I don't care if it's boyfriends I don't care if it's girlfriends God said, I've got to get rid of the old so that I can bring in uh, the new. He said, flow with me, son. Flow with me, daughter, in this season because I am bringing increase. He said, don't fight against what I am doing. Don't reject me or you will be rejecting your blessings. He said, he who has an ear to hear, hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying in this season. He said, I am redeeming the time, said the Lord. That that was lost is about to be restored. It is about to be reestablished in me. He said, I am making all things like new. Name that thing and you claim that thing. He said, and in this season, if you position yourself right, you will see the manifestations of God at hand. He said, what is it that you need to, what is it that needs to be made anew in your life? What is it that needs to be refreshed? He said, watch him do it in this season. He said, you need to just maintain the fruit of the spirit. He said, the main thing. He said, patience. Oh, why, 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 shut up. come on somebody. I just hear if you just hold on and have a little bit more patience. Springtime is going to be a blessed time, said the Lord. If you can hold on for just a little bit longer, he said, I don't care what's going on around you. He said, don't be concerned about the water around you. He said, because the water around you is taking you to your destination. He said, but what you need to be concerned about is the water that's been got on the inside of you that's then got on the inside of your boat. He said, don't be concerned about the water that's around you. Don't be concerned about the turbulence and the trials and the tribulation, even the situations. He said, because I am about to do a new thing. He said, but you got to position yourself. He said, and you need to have patience. And the next thing is self-control. He said, watch your mouth. Watch the very words that come out of your mouth in this season because your words are going to be very, very prophetic. So whatever you release into the atmosphere, watch it because it can bring about manifestation. So self-control and patience, watch your words, declare and decree a thing in this season is going to be established if you position yourself. That is conditional because some of us have not ripped up the weeds out of the garden. Some of us have not patched up the holes that's on the ship. Some of us have got too much water and too much capacity 
capacity on the boat. He said, but those that have an ear to hear the Lord on this night, if you do what I am telling you to do, watch out now. He said, watch what I do for you in this season. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a blessed season we are coming into people of God. He said, soon you'll be saying, oh, look and see what the Lord has done. Get over yourself. Get over your issues. Get over your emotions. See this thing before you see it, said the Lord. Now, that was a, per, a personal word for the body of Christ. Now, I'm going to release a word for the world. And y'all watch this because these things are about to manifest. God says, for the world. I have been saying this, that this is the best time and the worst time all at the same time. I have pronounced blessings for the people that are in God. But the people that are in the world... One of the things that God has given me to speak tonight before all of y'all. He said in 2016, judgment has fallen on the celebrity world like never before. I'm going to say that again. Judgment has fallen on the celebrity world like never before because they continue to promote foolishness. They continue to pro promote idolatry. They continue to promote fruitless ways. They continue to try to lead my people astray. He said judgment is coming on the celebrity world like never before. He said in 2016, and some of you have heard me say this before, there will be another HIV scandal in the black celebrity world. We have seen it in the white world with Charlie Sheen. He said, but there is going to be a black, there's going to be another HIV scandal in the celebrity world of HIV being passed between these celebrities. He said, watch and see for it shall manifest in 2016 and it will be a big scandal, says the Lord. And he said, I, I, he showed me in a dream the other day, LeBron James. He said, watch because LeBron James is about to be in the news this year, sometime this year. I don't know how soon, I don't know how far, but there's going to be something major happen with LeBron James. Watch it because judgment is hitting the celebrity world. All I know is something major is going to happen to LeBron James in 2016. He said we are going to see more deaths, more sicknesses and diseases manifest in the celebrity world. Matter of fact, Celine Dion just lost a husband and a brother all in the same week just here recently. He said you are going to see more deaths in the celebrity world this year than ever before. You are going to see more sicknesses in the celebrity world this year than ever before. He said in 2016, because judgment has hit the celebrity world. He said there is about to be more division and divorces in the celebrity world than ever before. Watch it. So many split ups, so many breakups, so many divorces. You're about to see that happen. In the political realm, he said, watch Hillary Clinton because she is about to make a sudden advance in the presidential election. Watch Hillary Clinton. She is about to make a sudden advance in this presidential election. We need to pray for Africa. God gave me a word to pray for Africa within 24 hours. There was a terror attack against Christians. He said now in this season in 2016 for some reason there are going to be some very very strategic attacks. Terror attacks in Africa. He said cover Africa like never before and yes I know terror attacks are happening all around the world but I'm going to tell you what the spirit of the Lord said. He said pray for Africa like never before because because there are going to be some very, very strategic demonic attacks in Africa. And when I released the word within 24 hours, there was a manifestation. So watch and pray for Africa. Because when I released the word and asked people to pray, within 24 hours, there was an attack on Christians. And there was, a, out of all the 60-something, almost 70 people on the bus, only three people died because Muslims chose to protect the Christians at a time. After we had prayed, I truly believe that the prayers of the righteous availed much because the Muslims that were on the bus chose to protect the Christians and cover them up when the attacks when the attacks came. I don't know if y'all read it. It was on my page. Trisha Ministries. You could go back, look it up. I Whatever have you. But it manifested and the prayers of the righteous it could have been all 60 plus 70 people on that bus that got killed. But only 3 people did. To God be the glory. So pray, watch and pray for Africa. 
Target has become a target. I'm going to say that again. Some of you have heard me say that. There's going to be a major attack this year for Target. I don't know how it's going to come or what manner it is, but there is going to be a major attack in a Target store or Targets around the world. I don't know how, but just remember Target has become a target. Uh, the next thing, he said, pray for mega churches all over the world. I see demonic attacks. I see terror attacks, strategic attacks for mega churches where there are so many Christians in one, one building. I'm not just talking about TD Jakes and uh, all of those people because there are a lot of mega churches that y'all don't even know about. They have thousands of people that are in that facility. Just begin to pray for mega churches that people don't want to go in there and shoot up the churches, shoot up the people in those churches. Begin to pray. I know we need to pray for churches all over the world, but I'm speaking from the spirit. This is what God told me. Why are you praying for churches all over the world? He said specifically pray for the mega churches because I see strategic attacks coming. He said don't sleep and slumber in this season you might miss me said the Lord be about my business because I am moving and I heard the words as I was finished writing this down be strategic because I am swift your dedication is going to cause your elevation says the Lord I'm gonna say that again your dedication is going to cause your elevation said the Lord best of times but worst of times, all at the same time. He who has an ear to hear, I pray that you have received what the Lord has spoken on tonight. I am done in the name of Jesus. And Father, I thank you for this word. I thank you, O oh God, that it has been a blessing to the hearts of your people for those that have received. And Lord, let not one word fall to the wayside, but let it be made manifest just as you have spoken through me your chosen vessel for this set time and hour. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Glory be to God.